Kitty Kate friends, it's Miss Mindy from the Food Trust. I'm so excited to be back again with you today to talk about dairy. But before we get started, we need to put away all of our things that might distract us. So anything that's laying around in front of you, let's put that away and we'll count to five so we can do that together. You ready? One, two, three, four, Five. Okay, let's do our favorite um, relaxation activity together, which I love to do. So we're going to use our five senses to do this. So let's get started. Um, so let's use our eyes and look around and let me know what you see. Let's do a quick look. I see my dog Mike. And I have a friend down here on my chair, my, uh, my other dog. <laughs> okay, um, what can you hear? I hear Mike panting because he was just outside on a walk and it's getting a little bit warmer and he's a little tired. What can you hear? How about let's use our nose. See if you can smell something. Hmm, what do you smell? I smell coffee. Someone in my house made coffee a little while ago and it smells so good. All right, let's use our hands. What can you touch? Let me know what you're touching. I'm gonna bend down here and give Maya a little pat on the head. And Maya is very soft. Maybe you'll see her in the video. All right, finally, my favorite part. What's something that you want to taste today or that you've tasted that's amazing? Uh, what could it be? You know what mine is, what I want to have. It's pizza. Yay. Okay, guys, so good. So let's turn around here to my chart, which we know what it's called. Do you remember? It's called my plate. Very good. And how many food groups are on my plate? Let's count them out. There are one, two, three, four, five. There are five food groups. So remember what we did? We do, there are five food groups on my plate. Let's do it together. There are five food groups on my plate. Very good. So we are gonna go around and review our food groups together. Now, I have a special little game for you to play while we do that, and it's a guessing game. So I am going to go to each food group. We're gonna name it. Tell me what color it is, and you can shout it out. And I'm gonna have you guess um, what it is that I'm gonna put on my plate. So are you ready to guess? Put your thinking caps on. I'm gonna give you clues. So we're gonna start up here with our red group. And do you remember what our red group is? It's our fruit group. Okay, this fruit is yellow and it's white inside when you peel it and it grows on a tree. Can you guess what it is? Did you guess a banana? Very good. There's our banana. We're gonna put it in our fruit group. Okay, I have one more fruit for you. And um, these are small. They're berries. They're red. And you can see their seeds. You eat their seeds. Can you guess? Did you guess? Strawberries. Very good. So bananas and strawberries are in our fruit group. Okay, let's jump down to our green group. Do you remember what our green group is called? Vegetables, right? Our vegetables. Okay, we ready? I have two vegetables for you. The first vegetable I have 
is green and they look like little trees. Did you guess broccoli? Very good. It's broccoli. Okay. Our next vegetable is yellow and it grows on a cob and it's something that we like to eat in the summer. Did you guess? Corn, you are right. This is corn and corn is a vegetable. Okay, oh, looks like we're losing my chart here. All right, let's hop on over to our grains group. We talked about grains. They give us energy to run and to play, right? So this grain is something that people like to eat when they go to a movie or watch a movie and it goes pop. Did you guess popcorn? You are right, it's popcorn. Hey, our next grain, um, it comes in all different sizes. It can be long, it can be round and shaped like a wheel. Um, some of them are shaped like little ears um, and they come in boxes and we boil them in water. Did you, did you say pasta? You're right, pasta is in our grains group. Okay, jumping down to our purple, to our protein group. Um, all right, this comes from a chicken and it's hard white shell and inside is a yolk. Did you guess an egg? This is a scrambled egg. Very good. There's our protein group. All right, now, one other item from our protein group. Um, this is a meat and we eat it from a chicken. <laughs> it's an easy one. Did you say chicken? <laughs> I gave you that one. You're right, it's chicken. And this is roasted chicken. <laughs> that one was kind of hard to guess <laughs> or give you clues about. Okay. So we got our fruits, our vegetables, our grains, our protein, and guess where we're headed on over to our dairy group. And that's what we're gonna talk about today. So our dairy group, um, this is something that we drink in the morning or with dinner, whenever you want actually. And I'll give you a clue that you can pour it over cereal. And it comes in different flavors too. Did you guess milk? Yes, good for you. All right, and our final dairy guess. This is something that comes from milk and um, it's flavored. You can eat it out of a tube. You can eat it frozen. You can eat it from a little cup. Um, you can use it in a smoothie. And it's something that we all like to eat, I think. It is yogurt. And this yogurt is blueberry and strawberry yogurt. So different flavors. Very good. So all of our dairy group comes from one place. Can you guess? It's an animal. It comes from a cow. So we are gonna talk about our dairy group in just a second, and I'm gonna read a book to you. Okay, friends, so <clears throat> before we get started talking about dairy, there are two quick things that I wanna review with you. We talked about 
our grains group. Do you remember what grains do for us? They give us energy to run and to play, which I hope you're doing. And remember, 60 minutes of playtime. And then we also talked about vegetables. And do you know what vegetables do for us? They help us grow strong and they give us vitamins to help us stay healthy. So our vegetables and our grains. So now today we're gonna to talk about our dairy. And we already said that dairy comes from an animal. It comes from cows. Cows give us milk. So a question for you. Have you ever visited a farm? What happens on farms? Well, <clears throat> animals live there, right? Cows are one an type of animal that lives on the farm. Farmers also grow those vegetables that we talked about that keep us strong and healthy. And they grow grains on their farms too, like wheat for our bread. And the grain is also fed to animals. So farms do so many things for us. And have you ever seen a cow? <laughs> maybe you have, maybe you haven't. What color was it? Was it black and white? Yes, probably, but there are also other colors of cows. Cows come in a brown color too. So just like we have different color skin, cows have all different colors of black and brown and white. They're all different colors. So let's get started. We're gonna read a book today. <clears throat> My book is called From Grass to Milk. Well, what does grass have to do with milk? I don't know, let's find out. Um, and it's written by Stacy Taus Olstad. So let's find out about that. Oh, right. <clears throat> Here we go. Milk helps me grow. Where does it come from? Well, we know the answer to that already, preschool friends, right? It comes from cows, right? And guess, up oh, here's our cow. Guess what cows eat? You got it. A cow eats grass. That's how our grass gets turned into milk. Wow. Many people drink milk that comes from cows. A cow starts to make milk when she is ready to have a baby. The mother cow eats grass and grass helps her live, grow, and make milk. So here we go, the cow makes milk. Here, I'm gonna show you the picture right there. <clears throat> the milk is made in the cow's udder. So this is the cow's udder. And the udder looks like a bag. It hangs down at the back of the cow's body. So that's where the milk is. Up here comes our farmer. He's coming in there. A farmer milks the cow. Or she, right? A farmer uses a milking machine to milk cows. The farmer places a cow's teat into the milking machine. So you can see here that there is the milking machine. And we have the cow's teats in there. And <clears throat> the teats hang down from the udder and the machine pulls on the cow's teats and that's how you get milk. You can also do it by hand too, but our farmers need to, to um, work quickly. So that's why they use a machine and it makes it easier too. Tanks cool the milk. So when the milk comes out of the cow, it's warm because our cow's body is warm just like our body is warm and the milk flows from the cow's teat 
and then it goes through hoses into a tank and the tank cools the milk. So there's our tank that has, you can see the milk inside of the tank. <clears throat> So we need to get that milk to us, right? It has to come to the stores. It can't just stay on the farm. So here we go. Guess what takes the milk to us? <clears throat> Trucks take the milk and a large truck comes to the farm. The milk is put into the truck's tank to keep it cool. And the truck carries the milk to a factory. So before it comes to us, the milk needs to go to a factory. That's the second step. And we'll find out what happens in the factory. I see some machines here, so, and I see milk. So let's find out what happens to our milk in the factory. <laughs> oh, the machines clean the milk. Yep. And the milk may be dirty from the cow's body because, you know, cows live outside and they live on a farm and it can be a little messy. And the workers at the factory put the milk into machines and the machines remove the dirt and germs from the milk. So next, the milk is heated. Let's find out why they heat the milk. A machine heats the milk and heating kills those germs that we said before. Germs can make people sick, we know that, right? And then the milk is cooled and workers test the milk to make sure it's safe to drink. So there's our machine heating it up. Oh, I think we're getting closer to the store. What do you think? What do you see there? I see empty jugs and I see milk in jugs, so full jugs and empty jugs. Machines put the milk in jugs. The milk goes to another machine and this machine puts it into jugs. The jugs are sealed and then they're put on trucks. Oh, does this look familiar? This is like a supermarket or a market, right? People buy the milk. <laughs> Trucks take the milk to stores and people buy the milk and they take it home. Yum, cold milk. Would you like a glass of cold milk? <laughs> I think I would. It looks really good, doesn't it? This tasty drink has gone from, remember what it started out as, from grass that the cow ate to milk. All right, and that is our book. And so, a couple questions for you before we finish up today, preschool friends. Where does milk come from again? Can you tell me? It comes from cows, right? Our milk comes from cows. And do you remember what we said cows eat? They eat grass. <laughs> um, what do you eat at home that's made from milk? There's something that we didn't talk about that's made from milk that I had, remember what we had in our dairy chart? <clears throat> in our dairy pocket, we have milk and we have yogurt, do you remember? Well, there's something else that we didn't talk about. And let me show you. Something else, this is cheese. So cheese also comes from milk and it comes from cows. So cheese is sometimes made in, cheese is made from milk. And I love cheese and there's lots of different kinds of cheeses. And also, while we talk about the different kinds of cheeses, there's also other animals that produce milk too. Like you might know that goats 
make milk also, and people eat goat cheese. So that's another type of animal that makes milk. All right, let's see, we have our yogurt, and yogurt comes in different kinds. So here we can drink our yogurt, we can squeeze it out of a squeeze container, and we can also eat it out of a cup too. So we have milk, cheese, and yogurt. Good, three things that come from a cow. All right, <clears throat> why, my friends, do we need to drink milk every day? What does it do for us? Do you remember? It helps those things in our body that keeps our body straight up and moving and bending. We need these things in our body to keep us as keep us whole. So what are they? They're in our fingers, they're in our arms, they're in our feet, in our legs. They are bones, right? And then there's one other thing that milk does for us. It keeps our what healthy? Our teeth. We want healthy teeth, so drink milk to keep your teeth healthy. All right, my friends, thank you so much for spending time with me. I can't wait to see you again and be safe. Get outside and exercise to keep your body healthy and drink your milk or your yogurt or eat your cheese. Bye everybody.